Yeah, so we do a thing that a lot of marketers talk about. It's called brand archetyping. And it's basically like you pick a personality for your brand. Lead IQ is all about being a gesture brand. So when someone tries to do anything with Lead IQ, we want you to feel entertained. We want you to think we're fun. Um, the cool part is it makes it, it's like a guiding compass for us on when we want to come with copy for an email or make a video. A uh, perfect example of us doing this would be our two biggest competitors became one company last year. And most companies would do like a very introspective like blog post where they go and write about the company and the changes and what it's going to do for the industry. We did a video where we announced that we're now in second place because <laughs> we were in third place as a third yeah. place provider. And then like we broke into a dance party. Like that's an example of us giving an approach on, the, on, on it sort of and trying to have fun with it. The thing is people don't really like brands. They like people. And at the end of the day, everybody wants to laugh. Everyone wants to have a good time. Um, we're trying to do the same thing with marketing and sales and that whole experience, even customer success too. Like we want you to feel good using and working with us. And it, I think it's a big differentiator compared to this stuffy space of sales technology where all these companies are like growth, 10 X revenue, blah, blah, blah. And like they're all macho and chest thumping and talking about how great they are. It's like, I don't want to do that. I want to make someone feel like I understand them and I get them because we all get out of work at the end of the day and we like to laugh. We go home and watch Parks and Rec on Netflix or yeah. binge watch and rewatch old episodes of The Simpsons or something. Like, we all grew up doing that. Why am I going to ignore uh, that when I'm doing business? It doesn't make any sense. The thing that people don't realize is that when you're using humor and things like that in your marketing, it actually exhumes confidence too. Like, it makes people, it makes people trust you more. Uh, I have a study that I did on a previous company that I worked at, we made a landing page that was super serious. It was a healthcare company. We made a landing page that was super serious. And then we made a second landing page that used humor. The one that had humor co converted way higher. And the biggest reason was we went around and emailed people after and asked. We just did this as an experiment when we were first starting out many years ago. And I asked people and they're like, oh, I just, I didn't even think of trust because I, you just made me laugh and feel good about your company. The thing is we get referrals from people all the time at Lead IQ that aren't even customers because they like our brand so much and they like the people that are part of our brand. There's a theory that happened uh, that was discovered in the late 80s, early, 2000, uh, early 1990s. Uh, there was a study done that when Johnny Carson retired, there are people that felt closer to Johnny Carson than their own parents. And the reason is because of media, they call it media theory basically, where you're exposed to someone over and over again, you feel like you know them. We kind of look at that approach from a perspective of using people as our brands here. So like Jeremy Levier, who's on our team as an account executive, Jeremy's one of the faces of our brand, even though he's just an account executive. And he gets tens of thousands of views on stuff when he puts videos out on LinkedIn. He gets a high engagement, all this stuff. It's because Jeremy's authentically himself and he's putting himself out there and he's not using business jargon. He's just talking like how he talks. Sometimes it's not the most eloquent thing in the world and it doesn't look the most professional, but he kills and crushes engagement compared to these polished, let's talk about the future and synergy. And then they show stock footage of fans moving or something with uh, ukulele and piano music in the background. 